hi guys today let's see how to create a spring boot application using spring initializer so let's go and create a project using spring initializer spring initializer so i'm going to create a maven project so here we will enter package com dot java in real time then project name i'm going to give java in real time spring boot demo you can see switch to full version here you can see all the other options so the name name will be the project name and uh, description java in real time package name and then it will be creating a jar file version java 8 we are using so let me go and uh, add the dependencies whatever we want so i'm going to take only web here if you want you can take any other as well like uh, jpa or there you can see in the down as well all this here you can see whatever the uh, dependency you wanted to add you can add jersey websocket rest docs everything whatever or not everything will be available here you can select anything security everything so for me only web is enough so uh, i whatever i selected here it already by default it will be selected here so i'm going to create a project click on generate project so it is downloaded zip file just extract it or copy it from there and i'm going to place it in my uh, trainings folder you can keep wherever you want so now i'm going to import this project to my sts which is nothing but spring tool suit so here I'm going to export I mean import so right click here or even file go to import under Marvin you can see existing Marvin project select give the path where the project is placed browse you should be able to see here form.xml then click finish here you can see all the Maven build is happening and it will be downloading the jar files required for the web like web dependency so hopefully it is downloaded let's go and see here and uh, let me open my form.xml first So the project depend group ID artifact ID has entered, and the parent parent is uh, Spring Boot. We need to add this parent by default. So I added here. It came automatically, and uh, Java 8 version and Spring Boot starter web, which we de selected web ja dependency over there. It added, and uh, always uh, you know when we added right, it will be given particular. Uh, test dependency as well automatically and here spring boot maven plugin this is for spring boot and maven plugin so let's go and uh, create a java file inside java main here so in my package by default this class will be generated this is the spring boot uh, main class it, which will be automatically run I mean when you uh, nothing configuration required for spring boot application by default all will be done internally the spring boot application annotation which internally have three annotations if you see spring boot configuration component scan and uh, uh, enable auto configuration everything will be there under 
Spring Boot uh, annotation itself. So you don't need to explicitly mention anything over here. And the one good advantage which Spring Boot is having is you don't need to worry about any configuration. It automatically takes care of it. So you just need to concentrate on implementing the business logic. So let me uh, create a class and invoke the application. So under this package, I'm going to create a folder first called controller. So here I'll be creating one class. Hello world class should be in under package of this. Click finish. Created. I'm going to make it as a rest controller. And uh, item with that. Hello. So it will return. String misses in Hello World Spring Boot. So I need to have request mapping annotation over here. To invoke the, I'm taking a simple uh, slash as in URL path. So this is what application. Let me go and build the application. I will clean. success install So build success. Let me go and uh, start the Spring Boot application. So I'm running the Spring Boot application. Yes, we got some error. Let's see what is that. I think it's, it's saying service, uh, port number is burned so I think already in use we can change we, my application having other um, applications which has port number similar to 8080 by default when you run this uh, spring boot right which has its internal jt server which will be configured with uh, 8080 so um, I need to change the port number let's go to application.properties file over here under resources and uh, I am going to change the port number port number 9090 let me give and let me restart my server run as spring boot application
so you can see here i think server started without any issue so that's what uh, i changed the port number it then it, it worked you can see started a spring boot demo application right now let me let us go and test whether it is uh, started localhost colon 9090 slash c here we go guys hello world spring boot the one which we have given in the sorry here my class i have given so hello world uh, spring boot so this is what we got as an output over there that's it guys thanks for watching i'll be giving the url in the down uh, in the description and you can see few more videos in my next tutorial regarding spring boot and apache camera thank you